welcome back again to my channel Diary Mary Kishin. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with us how I make my ashes soup. This is very traditional Igbo meal. You will love it. So if you want to know how I make it, stay tuned and watch to the end. Okay, in a pot, I added my goat meat. Then I add my onions and I add my cubes okay so after adding the cubes I'm going to add water you can use any other meat of your choice okay but this one I'm using goat meat to make it okay cover it up to cook then I'm going to introduce the vegetable that I'm going to be using this is my oha leaf okay and the uh, this is my own scissor leaf okay so i am going to pieces my own scissor i've already pieces my oha this is dry oha leaf and the dry old scissor leaf okay so i just pieces my oha before i dry them but now i am pieces my own scissor leaf okay so if today is your first time of watching my video or coming across this video this is Dairy Mary Kishin you are welcome so after pieces my leaves my dry leaves we are going to keep it aside now I am introducing a very very important ingredient for this hour ashes soup this is ogiri this is traditional ogiri low cost beans this one is typical one original one from my village this is so nice okay and this smells so good but i would advise you to make sure that you wash your hand very well if you are using this type of ogiri <laughs> because it smells so much okay so after that i'm going to be introducing my ashe this is my ashe it came dry but i soak it overnight and i'm going to blend it together and uh, into a powder form you can see it So guys, our meat is almost done. I'm going to add more water and then I'm going to now add my snail. Okay, this is very, very nice because this is like uh, four years since I eat snail last. Okay, so after adding my snail, I am going to cover it up to cook. So now my snail is done with my meat, I am going to start to add the other ingredients. First I am adding my local beans or inside my soup, then I am going to add in my dry fish and I am going to add more water. The quantity of water depends on the amount of the ingredient you are going to use so i am going to add my palm oil and uh, i am going to add in my my crayfish blended crayfish and pepper okay so after that we are going to allow it to cook so if you are still washing till this time that means that you are loving this my soup okay my cooking thank you for being here and now we are going to add our ashe in powder just add a little bit and continue shaking it before you can add another one so it will help our soup 
to tick to tick in okay so now i'm going to add in, in my dry vegetable my uzuza leaf and my oha leaf and turn it and cover it to cook thank you all for being here with me if you love this my video please follow us and also share our video like and comment and if you are new here you are welcome for my old subscribers you guys thank you for always coming